One of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make in my life, who is the first car I'm going to review from the star-studded 2022 Singles Case K. Guys, if you didn't see my unboxing for that case, check it out right now. I'll leave the link in the description below and card suggestion pop-up in the top right-hand corner. But it is by far the best case of the year, probably one of the best cases over the last few years as it includes such a great variety and quite a few new releases. I have them all lined up there in the background. You have Colin Bowrev from Cars 2, the brand new Cars on the Road paint shop for Lightning McQueen, the Hungry Tractor with Tire and Mouth, a brand new Tylen variant of George Newin. You have a new character from Cars on the Road, Speed Demon. You have Road Trip Mater, who's just the same as regular Mater, so that one's kind of boring. And so I ultimately decided, and I feel like a lot of you guys would probably support this decision, Flip Dover, the next-gen intersection racer from Cars 3. Now, you guys might know why this is probably one of the most fan favorite next gens, one of the most highly anticipated re-releases of any character in a long time, but if not, let me explain to you. So he was only released in this Target exclusive four pack in late 2017, early 2018, I believe it was, and the other three releases were also brand new next gens at the time. It was called the Next Gen Racers four pack, you had JD McPillar, Barry the Pedal, and Steve Slick LePage. And yeah, that is absolutely insane for a four pack to have all four new releases. And so because of that, and also because of its poor distribution at the time, it became extremely rare. Not many were produced. And so quickly the value of that four pack skyrocketed. And then Gradually over time, those other comrades there, and as I like to call these guys, the four horsemen of the apocalypse, they got released. You know, you got JD, you know, he eventually got released from Thailand. He got released quite a bit. Barry the Pedal is the one that's been released the most. 2018 single, 2022 single. I think he was also in maybe 2020. And Steve Slick LePage is right behind flipped over in terms of rarity, but he was re-released in an 11 pack also exclusive to Target. So that just left Flip here as the poor soul that had not been revisited by Mattel. And we all knew it was bound to happen. So actually I broke the news almost a year ago. It was in September of 2021 that flipped over would be returning. I can't believe no one like even refers to that video anymore. I literally said, we're getting Birth of Butter's Wagon, we're getting a car named Griante, we're getting this car, Colin Rev, and here we are and they're all out now. So. Pretty cool and obviously props to the people who found and discovered all of those leaks way back in September of 2021. But yeah, guys, this is not just any new Thailand variant. Like obviously Flip was previously released from China and so there are going to be some differences, but they completely changed his expression, which is extremely rare. Obviously when they you know release something from China and then from Thailand, example here, Jimmy Cables, you're going to see quite a few differences, but they're not going to change the expression. They're not going to really make it that much of a notable variant because they're not trying to, right? They're trying to release the same character. But for whatever reason here, Mattel decided to go just full bore and completely alter the expression of flipped over and in my opinion for the better because all of the next gens have this grumbly determined ticked off expression i mean literally all of them just growl snarl growl it's gross like too much they all look the same they all look like villains and i know that's kind of what they were going for but Flip here, you know, he's a nice guy. They're not all super villainous. I like how he's smiling here. It's a great expression on the card. I love that art as well. It looks really good. And they pretty much kind of emulated that. And, you know, he's not smiling per se, but uh, we'll get into all of that in a little bit here. But I do believe this art had been shown previously on the Tomika release of him. You can see this is the Tomika version, which also has a smiling expression or an expression that much more represents the card art here as you can see so we'll do a whole comparison once i open them up but yeah he looks good on the red riders packaging there kind of looks metallic kind of looks even metallic on the die cast as well so we'll see how that pans out as seen in cars three you get paul conrev barry the pedal george newman john Blight, jimmy Chango, the king murray clutchburn and jackson storm there on the back 
George was obviously also in case K, but the other ones, well, John Belia was as well. Paul was in G, Barry J, and then those three have been in quite a few. Now this card's not in perfect condition, so you guys know what that means. We're going to rip him over. Cannot wait to get into this and start the comparison. Here is our beautiful babe out of the package, looking amazing. And man, I want to say that this is a metallic flipped over because that is kind of how it's looking right now. A gorgeous, gorgeous finish to his paint. And that is what Thailand has excelled in, like the glossy finishes. And obviously, they have not excelled in the clarity of decals. But maybe on this one, maybe, maybe they're changing the tie. We will see. But there he is in Cars 3. Now, he's not like Bubba Wheelhouse and obviously not like Jackson Storm, where he gets any lines in the movie. But I like the fact that you can see all the next gens. You know, there's always at least one good shot of each one of them so there you have flippy flipped over the name is obviously kind of a play on the phrase flipped over which is exactly what happens to jackson storm Cruz flips over him so that's kind of cool maybe it's a little reference to that but yeah we're just going to go through a side-by-side -side comparison here you have thailand on the left and china on the right and then we'll pull the tomika one in later now, right off the bat, I'm a little disappointed that there are a couple blemishes on mine. You can see there's this black mark on his hood, and yeah, that's not just wiping off or anything. I don't know what that is. And there's like a little paint bubble. It's like a little booger right there. Like, that's a bit of metal. I can feel like the texture is raised. It's pretty weird. I don't know. Not super happy about that, but it could be worse. It could be a chip, like on Charlie Checker, if you guys remember from my unboxing yesterday. You can see that Charlie Checker had a major chip on his spoiler. But yeah, it looks like the models are the same and they just changed the eyes, which is kind of interesting. I don't know. I really don't know what compelled them to do that because they could have just left it the same. No one would have said anything, right? Because they already set the president many, many times by now that they don't change the expressions typically. And if they do, it's very minimally like James Clean there. That one looks a little bit different, but not super duper different. This one clear as day, way, way different. So it's worthy to buy both of them because, you know, it's like Lightning McQueen and then you have Determined Lightning McQueen. Like that was a designated different variant of him. So yeah, I love the expression. Again, I can't say enough good things about it. You have the heart-shaped logo there in the cars, which are pretty cute. Of course, one has a spoiler and one does. I wonder if that's to represent one being male, one being female. I don't know. <laughs> You got the vents there, headlights, all that stuff. The double grill looking good. Clear different shade of pink as well. Like this one's more of a pure magenta. This one's kind of a faded purplish pink. More on like the lavender side of things where this is more on the pink side of things, which I love. It just, it looks way more aesthetically pleasing. Now instead of having those black rims or the black wheels with the white trim around them, they are just kind of like a gunmetal gray now. So that's another pretty big change, I would say. Pretty interesting. So you have Thailand on the bottom. And wow, I have to say these are probably the best contingency sponsors I've seen in forever. And actually ever from Thailand. Usually they are much blurrier than this, but I can clear as day read Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. And honestly, they look better than the ones here on the Chinese flipped over. Now that's not always like going to be the case because I feel this is a unique case where the contingency sponsors are in that gray text, which doesn't look super good. The white text looks way cleaner and is able to be more visible on the pink there. But yeah, typically this is how they'd look, which obviously I'd say that is still clearer than this. And so this is your Chinese JD McPillar, but comparing flip to flip here, the Thailand one, Wow, for once, decals are better on Thailand. That's actually monumental. Yeah, everything looks pretty good here. You got the stripes, the roads, the double zero number there, which is quite a bit different. The zeros are way thinner. You could see the font. Look at that, how much thinner that is than that. So that's kind of interesting there. You got your exhaust pipes here, which are indented. The arrow to indicate to the pit route where to lift them up at to change the tires. 
So we're going to change the tires and take a look at his date stamp. R22A means he was made on the or during the 22nd week of this year at the A factory in Thailand by Mattel. Roof flaps, whoa, some more paint bubbles there. And that lighting, you could really see him. Look at that. It's like some acne. <laughs> Flip's got some acne up there. Can't stand acne. Hate it, hate it, hate it. One of my biggest pet peeves. But yeah, the roof flaps look good. He does have the window bars, which they've gone back and forth with for ages. Like, you know, they started with window bars, got rid of them. I mean, they've done this on so many cars. Ryan Laney, Jackson Storm, Dianco Cruz, I think Danny Suarez as well. It's uncanny how many times they like go back and forth. But here you go. You have another example. He now has the window bars, which looks good. Obviously, that's accurate instead of just having like a blank space there. So I do like that. And the windows are not a part of the main metal body, which they also started doing for a period of time from Thailand. Like I think the JD McPillar is just one metal piece, the Thailand version of him that is. But you know, obviously here you have the plastic pieces. Intersection spoiler looks pretty good. It's a darker pink text or outline around the text. Like, so that's pretty blatant, pretty easy to see that. Also, it looks like these two roads cross a little bit sooner than they do here. Like you can see these go almost all the way to the spoiler before crossing. So that's kind of interesting. Hmm. Looks like his body shape might be different. It just looks like the way he's modeled back here is a little different. Like this part looks a little flatter. I don't know. It looks a little different. So interesting. On the back here, man, this reminds me of that very first Cars 3 trailer when you actually see the back of flipped over. That's pretty wild. I still can't believe that way back in November of 2016, we got our first look at flipped over. Here we are in 2022 reviewing him. Man, that's the full life circle right there for you. But yeah, it looks pretty good. This logo on the Thailand version is slimmer. It's leaner. I mean, like, wait, that's so obvious. Like, you don't need a rocket science. You don't need a microscope to see that. This one's way thicker. Yellow racing stripes there, the double zero. Spoiler looks thinner on the Chinese version than the Thailand version. And then obviously everything's going to be the same here on this side. So wow, lots of differences with flip here. I mean, you got the rims, decals, the font, the thickness of a lot of the logos. So, you know, even though the expression is going to be the thing everyone talks about, this variant is very, very variant, right? It's very, very different. And I'd say it's absolutely worth picking up. There's only one per case. So if you find it, you're probably pretty lucky. You know, you're probably one of the first to the case. It's probably going to be pretty rare unless they include him a bunch in some future cases. So I would pick up as many as you can find. Actually, like not as many as you can find, but just like, you know, buy a couple, <laughs> buy a few. It would probably behoove you to do so. Not saying maybe sell them or anything, but you know, be a businessman, be an entrepreneur, entrepreneur about it. So here's your Tomica version, which they did a few years ago. I did buy it because I thought it was cool. One of my favorite Thailand or Tomica releases. Tomica has black rims as well. So all three of them have kind of different wheels. Obviously a way different shade of pink, but it has a little bit of a spectra flame metallic sparkle in it. So that's kind of cool. So is this one, but it's just not as noticeable. You can't see the sparkle as well. The eyes are kind of in the same spot, but he has a grin instead of the kind of just clamoring his teeth, you know, a little bit. It's like that emoji, you know, where he's got his teeth together. Well, there's a good word for that. There's a good word to describe, you know, when you have your teeth that clenching, there it is clenching your teeth, Disney docket. You're such a genius, man. You couldn't know name. Good for you. Anyways, the Tomica version is a full metal piece. So you can see the windows are a part of the main body there. This is like an ax right there instead of really like a ribbon. Yeah. The Tomica version is quite a bit different. Now you guys let me know in the comment section below which version is your favorite. I don't think anyone's going to say the Tomica one, but Chinese or Thailand, I think almost everyone's going to say the Thailand version as well. I honestly would. I think it's better in every way. 
The color looks better. It's more pure. It's pure, better expression, better decals. Just looks crisper. You know, I really do like it. So I'm going to present you with a tougher question. That's too easy. Who is the best pink next gen? Is it Rich Mixon or Flipped Over? Now that's a tough one. I don't even know if I could answer that one. I'd probably go Flip, but that is a real, real tough question to answer. Rich Mixon's a really nice next gen as well. Love his pink rims. But yeah, guys, I know probably a lot of you were wondering what's going on with these intersection team members back here. And they're just some customs, I think, for Jimmy Cables. I got them in like a lot. The person who made them were really creative, but he just, you know, kind of went for whatever. Like he wasn't trying to emulate something in specific. So that's why they might not be accurate to the movie. But yeah, they look good. They're great on display. And yeah, now we have a kind of complete set. You have Jimmy Cables and his Thailand variant, which we got last year. And now flipped over in his. I don't think the Jimmy Cables Thailand variant is better than the Chinese version of him, but for Flip, though, it's the opposite of that. And yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think about all this. Hopefully, you can find these in a store. Again, as I said in my unboxing so far, only available in Australia and Canada, but I have absolutely no doubt they'll start to show up here in the U.S. soon and hopefully Europe, South America, Latin America, and wherever you may be as well. Thank you guys as always for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll probably see you tomorrow for my review of Road Trip McQueen unless I have like a late petite mouse seizure, last second decision and change it to like Speed Demon. Honestly, it really is a tough decision to sign who to review first. I knew it was either, like there were three where I thought it easily could go either way. Easily flipped over McQueen or Speed Demon. I know that Colin Borev wouldn't be as popular nor Tractor would tire. But those are all up there. And again, like I said in my video yesterday, I don't think I'll review George Newman because his Thailand variant is so similar to the Chinese version. So that's maybe something down the road where I get another one. Because the one I have right now is like mint on card. Come on, please, don't at me. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye now. I told myself before I started recording, Disney Docket. Do not forget the Endurance Racer version of Flip released last year. I know you'll forget it because I'm doing renovations right now in my room, and so that case is kind of blocked. I'd have to really shimmy on over there and get them. And, of course, my dumbass forgot to do that. So here we are, guys. Yeah, I actually had already uploaded it and was working on editing like the tags and all that stuff, but we're going to redo it because this is a pretty important comparison. Now, granted, he is not much like the Thailand version at all, even though it's made in Vietnam. Like This guy's not even made in China anymore, but he emulates the Chinese version much, much more, and this is very understandable. You know, when you're going for these derivative versions, you know, Endurance, whether it be Endurance or the Fireball Beach or even when they did like the Ice Racers and Silver Racers back in the day. Now, granted, they did actually change some expressions on the Ice Racers, but Silver Racers, Neon Racers, those are better examples. They're going to really just change the paint job here. And so, yeah, you have like this really weird brown, dark, dark purple lavender finish on the camera. It definitely comes across more bronzish brown. But in person, you can kind of see the lavender to it, which is nice. And I do like this Endurance Racer version a lot. I think it was a little premonition to the actual regular version of Flip getting re-released. Like, I like the white rims on him. So, yeah. Still, though, very, very different. The decals all look good, though. Like I was talking about earlier, the contingency sponsors in white just look 10 times better than, for whatever reason, they did them in gray on the Chinese version, which doesn't really make much sense to me. I'm not sure if that's accurate. I don't think it is. I don't think we ever get a good shot of them. One thing the Thailand and Endurance Racer versions have in common are the window bars, though. So there you have that. Ah, I can't believe I forgot this. Disney Docket. It's 2 in the morning. Oh, and yeah, the Endurance Racer obviously doesn't have any rookie stripes because... Assuming the endurance race takes place in the future, he is no longer a rookie. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this comparison. And again, let me know who is the best pink racer. Is it Rich Mixon or Flip Doverski?